We all love a little bit of toxicity in our personalities. They're eating the cats. <laughs> Yo, he was dead ass too. You ain't black. They're using race to drum up votes for Kamala. <laughs> Talk about extreme. But you better thank them. The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by Fat Liver Jones in this podcast do not necessarily reflect reality or facts. If you're seeking factual information, we strongly encourage you to do your own research. Much of what is said here is meant to be satirical and humorous. Enjoy the ride, but take everything with a grain of salt. You feel me? All right, so last night, the presidential debate happened with Trump and Kamala Harris. Did I say her name right? Kamala? Kamala? Listen, don't come for me. I'm just trying to make sure I get it right. Anyway, Trump and Kamala got on the stage last night, and they duped it out. It was hilarious. I don't know if y'all know, but this motherfucking guy, Trump, is entertaining. I don't care how toxic he is. We all love a little bit of toxicity in our personalities. Let's be honest here. So let's go through this. These are some of the highlights. Thank you. Welcome to you both. It's wonderful to have you. It's an honor to have you both here tonight. Donald Trump left us the worst unemployment since the Great Depression. Hold on, before we start, where is her black sin at? Everywhere I go, I tell people, look, you may not be a union member. You better thank a union member. <laughs> for the five-day work week. But you better thank them. It's not hot sauce in my bag, swag time. All right, my bad. Donald Trump left us the worst public health epidemic in a century. You will see during the course of his rallies, he talks about fictional characters like Hannibal Lecter. Yo, my man's face is insane. He don't even give a shit. Trump's just like, yeah, I'm here. What's happening? Fuck what she talking about. He will about. talk about windmills cause cancer. And what you will also notice is that people start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion and boredom. People don't go to her rallies. There's no reason to go. And the people that do go, she's bussing them in and paying them to be there. Oh, shit. <laughs> so he said that she's <laughs> she faking her views, y'all. <laughs> Call out here, my views, y'all. <laughs> Trump a wild boy. He said, I got bars. She ain't got shit. She has a flat plan to confiscate everybody's gun. President Trump, she has do a have Weaponize it, so... <laughs> this guy, he just be saying anything. Watch, three days from now, he gonna say he ain't saying none of this shit. Plan. Tim Walls and I are both gun owners. We're not taking anybody's guns away, so stop with the continuous lying about Oh, look at her. It's Miss Sassy. You better stop. Ain't nobody touching none of those guns. And you know what's so funny? That's the one thing I do believe that they're not going to do. They're not going to touch anybody's guns because, first of all, the NRA pays everybody. It's sad because the gun issue is a big thing here in America. Like, we're the only country that really has, like, mass shootings in schools and churches. Like, places that are sacred. Fucking wild. About this stuff. I don't know. I mean, all I can say is I read where she was not black that she put out. And I'll say that. And then... <laughs> what? I'll say that. <laughs> Yo, he was dead ass, too. Yo, who mans is this? I read that she was black. I mean, honestly, I think it's... A Hold up. He said he read that she was black. Let me run this back again. I read that she was black. I mean, honestly, I think it's a, a tragedy that we have um, someone who wants to be president who has consistently over the course of his career attempted to use race to divide the american people they've all used race they're using race to drum up votes for kamala you ain't black it's the same shit in springfield they're eating the dogs the people that can yo he said they eating the dogs and first of all wasn't there a rumor that the chinese people been feeding us dogs and cats out of the chinese stores for decades am i making that up all right, what the fuck are we talking about? But now nah, he was bugging. Came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating. She said, this is unbelievable. You're saying it's unbelievable, but there's some people out there that do believe it. The pets of the people. Protect the pets of the people. <laughs> that live there. <laughs> you talk about extreme. <laughs> there is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. Yeah, that was wild. He said that, you know, they want to be able to abort babies after they're born. You calling me a liar, black man? 
where they do that at? And like, you got to be a pretty, pretty sick motherfucker to go an entire term to have a kid, then to be like, you know what? I don't want this kid. Yo, this guy just be shooting from the hip, man. This is pure comedy. I don't know how nobody doesn't like this. Madam Vice President, want to get your. I wish they had an audience, though. That would have made this way, way, way more entertaining. Response to President Trump. One does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to agree. I wish y'all would stop using that too. Stop, stop bringing religion into everything. The government and Donald Trump certainly should not be telling a woman what to do with her body. I have talked with women around our country. You want to talk about this is what people wanted? She hates Israel. She <laughs> Yo, he says it and he's so confident. You can't help but laugh. Like she's up here being serious and she's trying to be like a straight politician. But this guy's up here just shooting from the hip. He don't give a fuck whether you like it or not. His base is buying into it because they feel like Someone who's not a politician is going to give you the, the bold, hard, honest truth, no matter if you like it or not. But he said she don't like Israel, which is funny because they keep giving Israel and fucking Ukraine mad money. He wouldn't even meet with Netanyahu when he went to Congress to make a very important speech. She but just so you understand, they sent her to negotiate peace before this war started. Three days later, he went in and he started the war. Yet again, I... What the fuck ever, but three days later, I guess, they went to war anyway. And my thing is, no matter what Kamala's mission was, whoever she went to meet with, they were going to do whatever they wanted to do anyway. This is why politics is weird as well, because it's a lot of red tape, like shit that goes on that, whether it's for the greater good or just for BS, and a lot of us won't even know it, because the things that happen to keep Americans safe, a lot of y'all don't want to know. And regardless of who is in that chair, somebody's going to make some decisions decisions that are brash rude and mean and none of it's beautiful so we got to stop acting like it's a beautiful and glorious job for the leader of the free world or any leader for that matter you have to make decisions for people not just for your people for all people and in most countries they are your people because whatever said it at the beginning of this debate you're gonna hear a bunch of lies coming from this fella and that is another one when I went to meet with President Zelensky, I've now met with him over five times. Yeah, how many checks y'all gave him, too? One, two, three, four, five. Why are we paying for these wars? That's what I don't get. We got a migrant issue here. We have inflation. We have all of these things, but yet and still, we're giving money to Zelensky. We're giving money to Israel. And my whole thing is you got to let people sort their own wars out. May the best man win. The reality is it has been about standing as America always should. If Donald Trump were president, Putin would be sitting in Kiev right now. So I think you've heard tonight two very different... So she basically said that if Trump was president, that Putin would have just went into Ukraine and did whatever he want and had his way. And Trump basically said, no, because when I was president, there was no threat of him going into there. But as soon as y'all got into office, guess what he did? He walked He walked right into there or marched, bomb first, whatever you want to call it. Different visions Hell for our Mary, country. Nigga. One that is focused on the future and the other that is focused on the past. She's been there for three and a half years. They've had three and a half years to fix the border. They've had three and a half years to create jobs and all the- So the border is so funny because when he was president and he was on his whole border campaign, when they all ran again, they were anti-border. But now that their voting base, basically a lot of the minorities are complaining about the border too. Like, all right, now you're letting in way too many goddamn migrants and they're taking away from us. It's an issue. So yeah, no, like there people aren't happy. So now she is claiming that she is pro-border. I didn't go to college, so I don't give a damn about a student loan debt. Like if you made the choice to go to college, then yeah, you should be responsible responsible for that now the interest rates and all of that shit i think is astronomical they should have cut that down and just let people pay the original loan was that's what it should have been like they got to stop the predatory lending i tweeted this out and niggas thought i was joking but i said if trump said right now i'm giving all americans a million dollars on day one he got this shit in the back because that's all people really care about they care about the economy whether it's going to put money in their pocket or it's going to put money in the pockets of business owners somebody needs to have some money so the american people can get back to 
to having things. If you look at a lot of these sanctuary cities where the migrants are, poverty is through the roof. It reminded me of being in DR again. I saw like six motherfuckers on two scooters and it was the wildest shit ever to see that in America because we usually have enough of everything for everybody. Now there's not enough and people are reaching their limits and nobody is talking about what they're going to do for the American people. Fuck everybody else. Take care of home first. What, what are we getting out of this deal? And don't tell me, oh, you know, we're going to, you know, save uh, humanity. Humanity's fucking doomed anyway. <laughs> like, humans are the worst thing that happened to this planet. So miss me with the fucking kumbaya, Greenpeace and all of that shit. What's going to happen for the people?